Elon Musk appears to be having a rough time. Uh, how do I know that? Well, that's the only plausible explanation I can come up with for why you would tweet. Soros reminds me of Magneto. George Soros reminds him of Magneto. All right, Anybody I knows seen anything X-Men. about the X-Men? I, I haven't seen X-Men, I've heard Well, great don't things. worry, yeah. uh, yes, well, uh, I feel weird going to Brian Krasenstein to explain the significance <laughs> of that comparison. Brian Krasenstein, back, who apparently baby. is a subscriber to Elon Musk on Twitter, but says, fun fact, Magneto's experiences during the Holocaust as a survivor shaped his perspective as well as his depth and empathy. Soros, also a Holocaust survivor, gets attacked nonstop for his good intentions, which some Americans think are bad merely because blah, 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 he goes on from there. Uh, to which Elon Musk, genius amongst us, replies, you assume they are good intentions, they are not. He wants to erode the very fabric of civilization. Soros hates humanity. But I am not political, uh, I am just saying what yeah. uh, everybody wants us to say. Uh, I'm, I'm just speaking truth here. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's just That's such pretty a good actually. I yeah. haven't heard your, your Elon Musk, I haven't heard anyone's Elon Musk, that's now the leader. Anyway, uh, why does he think that? Well, I don't know, Elon Musk is a right winger and they're all contractually obligated to hate George Soros. Uh, and other global elites. Yeah, we get but it. Just say Jews. Just say, just say Jews, Jewish. Elon. Honestly, it would. I would yeah. respect you more if you just said Jews. Yeah, but there might be a more personal reason why he's got uh, George Soros on his mind. Apparently, George Soros's fund dumps its, dumped its entire Tesla stake in the first quarter, cashing out in the EV maker's 2023 <laughs> rebound. Maybe that's the issue, actually, Might with be. George Soros. Not that he has some sort of like just opposition to the fabric of civilization. Like what? Like if you want to make the case that George Soros is trying to like rig the tax code or something, that's understandable. We understand that as a motivation. You want to be wealthier, you want more power, you want more, I don't know, a, a, a harem of cultists or whatever. These are understandable. You hate the fabric of civilization is what you say to appeal to conspiracy theorists who are curious about what's going on, but not to the extent that they want specifics or facts yeah. or have to e actually go through difficult things. Elon does Final not have thought. an ideological, Elon doesn't have an ideological opposition to billionaire donations to politics. So let's be real here. He is just saying George Soros, not the Mercers, not the Koch brothers, not anyone on the right because he wants to appeal to the right. And their conspiracy about Soros, which is a dog whistle for Jewish people, even though I'm against billionaire donations, I don't single one guy out. So. I, the, the reason that they do that obviously is to appeal to the right. And Elon, he's yeah. that, that's the, the cesspool he's created in his acquisition of Twitter. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.